What's up y'all, Hotshot Gamer here, and I'm going to be continuing this Let's Play with Firecat Alley. So, let's go ahead and run here, and or run in here rather, and see what's going on. Halt! Oh, you're that Unicorn Way hero wizard, aren't you? What? Sergeant Muldoon sent you? Woo! I need all the help I can get. I'm sure you do. This street is ablaze, wizard, and not in the way it's always ablaze. It's been completely consumed by anger and hostility and violence. The fire elves have gone insane. A gaggle of them even broke down the gate to the dark cave. Now the undead have spilled out into the street. I can't hold all these roving mobs of mayhem at bay alone. Please, wizard, can you drive the haunted minions back? I can definitely do my best. I probably won't hold them off forever, but <clears throat> I can absolutely do my best. Alright, let's see how easily we can take this dude down. I'm gonna lightning bet this dude, and uh, with my no visible ability, it's like this haunted minion is about to be gone. Keep to this corner of the street, but we're not going back in the dark cave. It's spooky in there. Well, he definitely sounded haunted, that's for sure. I wonder what's wrong with him. This place looks so much darker than it used to be, too. The undead have promised not to venture any farther. It's not ideal, but after everything else that's happened here, I call that a win. I wouldn't, it all started but... when the Fire Elves were rehearsing the song Recollection from Fire Cats, the musical. Everything was going fine, pitchy soprano solo aside, when one of the Fire Elves suddenly shot a tiny arrow at me. Then another elf joined in. Then another. The animosity spread like wildfire. Now even the lawn decorations have risen up and gone all stabby. A wizard named Lizzo Firespinner was coaching the elves on singing before the trouble started. I saw them attack her. I wanted to help, but... Uh, uh, I simply had to secure this position. Now I'm the only thing standing between all this chaos and Old Town. Please, will you check on Lizzo? So you say you had to secure the position, but I'm almost positive that you're just a scaredy cat and you really didn't feel like dealing with these people. But... It's whatever. I'll go ahead and talk to them for you. And I will be back with you guys as soon as I get there. Alright guys, let's see what uh, Lizzo wants to say to us. This is no place for a newbie like you. Wait! You're the new kid who cleaned up Unicorn Way, aren't you? <laughs> well, I'm glad you're here now. Some fire you should be. I'm here to help you out. My spell book. The truth hurts, but I'm literally powerless without it. Could you That's get true. my spell book back? You will? Thanks. Just try to be gentle, okay? The Fire Elves aren't evil. Someone, something, has corrupted them. Yeah, absolutely. Go ahead and do that for you. Let's see, uh... Let's see how easily these Fire Elves go down. There's a rumor of a witch who was fired from Ravenwood that lives in hiding here on Firecat Alley. They Interesting. She turned a kid into a humongo frog. That'd be a good I reason to get we fired. I think convince her to use her advanced magical prowess to help the fire elves. I might be too optimistic, but that's a human in me. The True. wizard in me is worried she's the one who caused all of this. Either way, we need to find her. Perhaps one of the other denizens knows how. What's a denizen? Shellis Gruffhart cowering in a corner at the top of the hill instead of helping me while I was running for my life earlier. Oh well, go ask Shellis if he knows where the witch lives. Will do. I'll go ahead and uh, run back up here really quick and talk to the dude. What's up, dude? Leave me alone! Oh, you're a wizard. Wait. You're not two fire elves in a wizard costume, are you? No? You promise? Because I know ice magic. Not that okay. that would do anything. I believe you. Which is good, because I don't know a lick of ice magic. So, 
Are you here to save me, magical child? Not quite. Fair enough. What do you want, then? Do I know where the old witch is? Hmm. I'm not sure. What I am sure of is that the bedeviled fire elves stole my strong box. My entire month's earnings are in that box, wizard. You get my strong box back. Wink, wink. And maybe I'll remember the answer to your question. So basically you're trying to scam me, huh? Well, I guess I'm gonna go, uh, kill some more fire elves. So I'll be back with you guys once I'm, uh, back over to Shellis. All right, I'm back with the scammer. What's up, dude? My strong box. Thank you. Now about your question. I can't say for certain she's a witch, but there's a peculiar hermit who lives down the way. Okay. She keeps her windows drawn, and there's often strange smoke billowing from her chimney. That's the best I can give you. Hope it helps. It really doesn't, but okay. I guess I'm gonna go to this hermit's house. I'll see you guys when I'm over there. Oh, how dare you interrupt an old woman from the, the wall? All right, let's see what this lady has to say. You interrupt an old woman from her stories. Did Ambrose send you to banish me? Well, I'm not going without a fight. What's that? Corrupted fire elves? Murderous magma men? The undead have spilled from Dark Cave? They need the witch's help? First off, I'm 100% not that witch. Or any witch for that matter. I'm an alchemist. Secondly, this sounds like a city guard job. It does, the I guard agree. Is pinned <laughs> down. Ugh, typical. All right, then, I'll help. But I need to know exactly what we're dealing with here. Take this special vial and collect a sample of magma from those magma men you mentioned for me to analyze. We'll go from there. All right, so we just defeated the magma for this lady, and uh, let's see what she wants to do with it. Oh. That was quick. Phew! You smell like sulfur. Now, hand me the magma, and I'll run a quick analysis on it. And done. Ah, looks like the root cause was a banshee's whale curse. Oh, and I recognize these melodic signatures. Bastilla Gravewind. Bastilla was the prima donna of the Fire Globe Theater decades ago. She had a bitter relationship with the Fire Elves, especially fellow actors. During a performance of Magic Fire Music, her elf co-star accidentally summoned actual fire magic, and that was the end of poor Bastilla. I'd heard that she had a thriving underworld theater career, but apparently she's decided to return with a vengeance. A Banshee's Whale Curse works like an auditory virus. Rehearsals for that dreadful musical served as the perfect way to infect the masses. Thankfully, this particular whale seems to have no effect on humans. But we need to help the Fire Elves before their little brains melt. To reverse the curse, I'll need a Herkimer Stone to record Bastilla's voice onto. Get one from the Rotting Fodder in Dark Cave. Alright, so this is going to be a little bit longer of a quest, so I'm going to go ahead and knock this out, and I'll get back with you guys uh, when I'm about to beat him, and then I'll get back with you guys once I uh, be, uh, talk to Greta. How does that feel? Ooh. Ah. Take our Herkimer stone. We'll dig up another to record our sickened beats upon. To record our sickened beats upon. Alright, well, that was a really easy and quick battle. But I'm gonna go ahead and walk back to Dark, uh, Greta, so I'll meet you guys there. Alright, guys, I'm back. Let's, uh, let's see what Miss Greta Dark Kettle can do for us. Ah, good! This Herkimer Stone should work nicely to record Bastilla's whale. I'll override whatever noise the rotting fodder had imbued it with. You'll just need to get Bastilla mad enough to let out a good shriek. Herkimer stones naturally capture the sound waves of the undead. 
I did a little reconnaissance while you were gone. Big surprise, Bastilla is in her old house, the Diva's Tower, down the street. Good luck! Luck? I don't need any luck. There, uh, there's no such thing as luck. All right, let's see what this lady wants. I've been eagerly awaiting a review of the performance I gave for the Fire Elves. What? Are you not a fan? Well, Malastar is. So you have to do with Malastar, eh? Living creatures' opinions will matter once the Dark Master's plan is fulfilled. And there's nothing you can do about it. <laughs> oh, well, I mean, I can come and beat you. How about that? Would you, would you like that? Let's see here. Oh, you're gonna be easy to take down. Cause I can one shot your minion right here. Now it's a 1v1, how do you feel about that? Clearly you're cool with it because that was a pretty weak attack you just gave me. 136, that's interesting. I don't know if I've seen that before on a, uh, on a fairy. I must have some sort of uh, resistance on right now. Yeah, because that did 85, so it must just she must be just doing weird numbers of damage to him. One lightning bats down, one to go. I can thunder snake and get away with it. Or not. I'm gonna try thunder snake again if I uh this old um this is gonna suck. There we go. She should be dead now. But she's dead. That noise. Oh, you upstaged my comeback performance. It was going so well, too. I laughed. <laughs> I cried. Oh, it was better than fire cats. Enjoy this day. I will. For when you bear witness to my pretty good day out. The sun's out. Shining. This it's warm out. City will be sorry. <laughs> sure. Sure, we'll be sorry. Great, uh, I, lo I still love the fact that all these people think that they can hurt me because, you know, I'm the hero of Unicorn Way. But I'll meet you guys back at uh, Gretel, Greta's house. Alright guys, so we just got back to Greta's house and I'm going to be ending the video here for today. I, uh, I'm i going to be doing a two-parter for, um, for this little area. So I will see you guys next time, and uh, happy Halloween. Feel free to leave a like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel. But yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.